What's up, Moeo Tribe? It's time for the Wellness Word of the Week. And for the next couple of weeks, we're going to be talking about foods that cause inflammation in our bodies. And as a result of them causing inflammation in our body, they can have an effect on the pain that we suffer from, on the disability that we suffer from. And sometimes we don't even realize that the food affects it. There are so many people that suffer from arthritis, whether it be osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis. There are people that suffer from inflammatory conditions like inflammatory bowel disease, people that suffer from autoimmune diseases, and all of these are affected by inflammation in our body. Now, inflammation in itself is not a bad thing. Inflammation is something that tells us there's something wrong. It's a warning signal, a red flag. So if you're out walking on a trail and you sprain your ankle, then your ankle is going to have inflammatory mediators rush into that area that trigger this inflammatory response. And one thing that does is it tells us our ankle is hurt. And it gives us a signal that we need to take care of our ankle. And so that response is a necessary response. It's a response that protects us. Short-term inflammation is protective. But where inflammation goes wrong is when it becomes chronic and it never goes away. And that's what we see in arthritic joints, people that suffer from osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis, or people that suffer from an inflammatory uh, condition, some sort of autoimmune disorder. They have this chronic inflammation. And what chronic inflammation does is that inflammation stays in areas of your body and it produces this chronic inflammatory response that leads to chronic pain. And as a result, it limits our lifestyle. It limits our function. So we're not able to exercise. We're not able to do the things we would love to do. And as a result of that, we gain weight, we get depressed, we get anxious. So the effects that chronic inflammation has on the body is negative all the way around. And so whatever we can do to limit the amount of chronic inflammation is beneficial for us. Now, there are some diseases that maybe you just can't specifically treat all the chronic inflammation, but the problem comes when we do things in our lifestyle that adds to the inflammation. And probably one of the greatest culprits of that is the foods that we eat. There are so many foods in our normal North American diet that trigger added inflammation. And so if you already suffer from a disease that causes inflammation, that causes this chronic inflammation, and as a result of that, it limits your function, it limits your quality of life, then if you eat foods that worsen the inflammation, all you're doing is worsening the disease by something that is voluntarily that you're eating. And part of the problem is, is sometimes we just don't know or understand that certain foods cause inflammation. Maybe we think, well, I knew that food wasn't particularly good for me, but I didn't know it caused inflammation. But if you knew you were going to eat a food that you knew was going to worsen your condition, would you still do it? That's the question. So for the next couple of weeks, every day I'm going to talk about a specific food or food additive that causes inflammation. And so for people who suffer from inflammation or even from chronic pain of any type, all these foods are going to have some effect of worsening your condition and worsening your pain. So stay tuned this week for the wellness word of the week. And let's talk about those foods and those additives that cause inflammation in our body. You've got the opportunity to take control of your health. Make the most of it. Moeo, everywhere we go.